If excellence is built properly, then an organization should always be ready for the future. The excellence is not short-term orientation and very much it is not uh, building blocks uh, in order to achieve uh, an arbitrary target and uh, to win awards. The investment in excellence is to allow an organization to sustain its path uh, to continue to become better and also to protect the future of the organization in times of adversity and when uh, the external environment becomes more disruptive and more challenging. So the question for many leaders is to whether they are building uh, excellence so that the organization can grow, can develop, can become resilient, can be adaptable, can be agile, can compete effectively and can continue to innovate in an era where uh, innovation uh, is something that must be replenishable because of the shortening of the shelf life of innovations, whether it's services or products, and where the capacity for continuing to replenish the needs of customers uh, is very much uh, um, a requirement at an essential level. Organizations that were once hailed as excellent but um, struggle uh, uh, after that are organizations that haven't really invested in excellence in the right way and they haven't really worked on putting the foundation for sustaining excellence in order to build robustness, resilience and adaptability in the organization itself. This is a very important point for leaders in the modern era. Organizations that uh, have survived for a long term uh, in the past are threatened of the dis distinction uh, as much as organizations uh, that are emerging, that are fairly new. This is because what worked in the past is no longer suitable for the requirements of modern competitiveness. Uh, what used to be a strength in the past today is considered to be uh, as a, a burden uh, and old legacies uh, that will make uh, organizations uh, struggle uh, to renew themselves, to be agile, unless the uh, gutsy leadership that exists can offload uh, whatever uh, is old legacy and look at building new organizations that are lean, that are agile, that are adaptable, and that can compete in um, very difficult uh, conditions. So in a sense, uh, organizations uh, that build uh, something to last must consider that what needs to last is uh, excellence as a philosophy, as a set of principles, uh, as a mindset and as a culture that is uh, very much the soul of the organization and the one that really will deliver the future in the end. Everything else must be considered to be uh, reconfigurable uh, and everything else can be offloaded in particular uh, times uh, if the requirement indicates uh, that. These are the leaders uh, of true excellence. They are the leaders who focus on the big picture and they are the ones who preserve 
the purposefulness of the organization as opposed to carry forward old legacies that could have delivered significantly positive outcomes in the past.